So this is Asista Luis. I'm doing a review on a tarot deck. The tarot deck is called the uh, Golden Universal Tarot. Um, a lot of people ask me, what is the tarot deck that I generally use to do consultas, to do readings? And, you know, I, well, first of all, I started reading tarot decks when I was 18 years old, you know, my grandmother was a Puerto Rican espiritista and she used La Baraja Española, you know, the Spanish uh, playing cards deck. I was never really, I mean, I do understand the Spanish playing deck, but I was really never into it. And the first deck that I ever picked up when I was 18 years old was uh, a Rider Waite Smith tarot deck, if I want to say. And I've been using the Rider Waite Smith, what, for what, 26 years? You know, and I've and I've tried other, you know, tarot decks along the way, but I know the Rider Waite tarot deck Smith like the back of my, you know, palm, like the back of my hand, I should say. And I've always felt comfortable, but sometimes, you know, I do get a little bit bored of looking at the same, you know, cards over and over and over again. So I came across this uh, beautiful deck. It's called the Golden Universal Tarot. And it's got this, it's very similar to the Rider Waite tarot deck, um, but with a gold, like, background, I guess you want to say. And I like that. Some of the, the cards are a little bit different from the, the Rider Waite. I know the gold is, is, it's shining from the backlight. But, you know, I like, I like this deck, and I just picked it up, and so I'm going to do a little quick review. But this is the back of the cards deck, and if you can see, it's reversible. Okay, uh, the card stock is a little, this is one of the extra cards, it's a little flimsical, you know, but looks like a little bit, it's gonna be, it looks like it's going to be durable, and uh, let's start from the beginning, this was uh, an added card, so just move that, out. what I like about it is, this is the full, and if you notice, I'm trying to get the lighting, but you can see there's a beautiful golden background and what I like about it is the gold the black um, border instead of the white border that you get in the Rider Waite tarot deck and what I like about the universal golden uh, tarot is that you get the number you know zero but you don't get the name for it so hopefully you know you know the names of your cards but this is zero for the fool and you can see it's, it's gorgeous I've been trying to get the light but I like the way it shines Looks nice on my on my table actually, but it looks uh, nice going down. It doesn't have the name of the card, but um, that is the fool. This is the magician I'm trying to get it so you can see it. I mean, I, I just like it. It's really, it's really a, a nice deck. Again, there's no name. It's a black border with just a number. The fool, the magician, a priestess. And we got the Empress, a little bit different from the uh, the Rider Waite deck, this Empress right here, but similar. Uh, I'm trying to get it so you can see, look at how it shines, it, it is, it's just a stunning deck and I, I really do enjoy it a lot so far. I haven't read with it, but you know, the Emperor, again, no names, but uh, it's got the number, number five for the Emperor. The Hierophant, a little bit different from the Rider weight, but it's got the similar, uh, you know, design. And, you know, I got tired of looking at the Rider weight after, what, 26 years of, look, you know, reading the Rider weight. I wanted something different. And I've tried different decks, you know. I tried the, the Luminati Tarot. It was, that was too, too much colorful for me. And, you know, just too much color. So I wanted something similar to the Rider weight. This right here is the Lovers. The chariot. Look at how nice to look when you when you place them down together. Strength. I mean, capturing these on videos doesn't compare to what these cards look like. I mean, right there in in your face, and when you're doing a reading, it's it's an amazing deck to look at. The hermit. The Wheel of Fortune, Justice, 
Again, no names, just the number. Uh, similar to the Rider weight, just, uh, you know, the art is a little bit different, more modern. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. It's really hard. And the gold adds, it's, it's just gorgeous. It's, it just adds a lot to it. The Hanged Man, that's uh, one of my favorite cards. People have asked me, what card do I associate? You know, if I was to be a card in the tarot deck, which one would I be? I would be the Hanged Man. Those who know me know, know why. Death, la muerte. Look at how stunning that is. It's just, just a gorgeous deck. El Diablo, the devil. Trying to get it so you can see it really good. A tower. The star. I like it. I don't like that it's a little, it seems a little thin. Hopefully it lasts me. This is brand new. Hopefully it lasts me. I'm dying to use it on a client. This is the moon. Look at that. It looks really nice. I like it a lot. The sun. I just love this deck. It just... It, I haven't been so excited for a deck in so long, and, and this is one of the decks that I'm really, really excited and I'm kind of can't wait to use. I'm trying to get so that the images is not so blurry. Sorry about that. The world, look at that, look at that, look at how it shines, and when you move it, it just it looks amazing. Oh, look at that. Ace of Cups. Just look at how look at how nice that looks. And then when you're kind of placing it down for reading, just look how nice that looks. Two of Cups. This is gonna keep showing you some of the cups. I mean, I'm sorry, some of the cards. I like it a lot. I enjoy it. I'm gonna get another one because it, it seems a little flimsy, you know. The stock is not that strong, but it is a really just a gorgeous deck and one that I know that I'll use because, I, like I said, I do enjoy the Rider Waite. A lot of people like all these crazy tarot decks. I personally like Rider Waite. I personally, that's what I've you know always been using. I like traditional, and it's what I'm used to using, what I'm good at reading when I do consultations. It is an amazing deck. I highly recommend it. I'm going to try to show you all the cards that I can. Look at that. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. Just like the way the light shines. You know when that when you get that light and it, it just sparkles. It just, just looks more, Look at that. It looks really nice. You know, I always tell people, people that recommend, you know, what kind of deck should I start with? I always say the right or wait. Um, start with the right away wait until you get to know your, you know, the, the names of the cards by, you know, by memory and what they symbolize, what they mean. And then I would definitely go to this deck. I'm just really excited about it. I just like it a lot. You know, I just, of course, I'm getting another one. I had two in my hand and I said, no, let's, let me just get one. Look, look at how that light shines on that cup. I said, let me get one just in case I didn't like it. But I just can't, I can't tell you how much I love this deck. Look at that, look at that crown. Isn't that hot? Wait, I'm trying to, come on, don't blur, don't blur. I'm sorry. Yeah, but it just looks nice. The only, ones, the only suit that I didn't like was the coins, because I noticed it. I read reviews about it, and if you notice that uh, Ace of Coins, and some of the coins, you'll notice that some of the paint is missing. And I guess that's... The deck was supposed to, it's supposed to be like that, but it's still, you know, I, I didn't like that. You, you're going to notice that throughout the deck that a lot of the coins, some of the paint, it seems like it's being chipped off, but it's actually like that. I'm, I'm, I, supposedly from a review, I'm going to get another deck just to make sure. But I, I really, I can't say how much I love, I agreed. I'd be a greedy person right here. Can't tell you how much I enjoy this deck. 
highly recommend it. I like because um, you'll see people, you know, a lot of decks, you'll see a lot of Caucasians, which is fine. You see a lot of blonde haired people, which is fine. Here in this deck, like in the writer, you'll see people who have brown hair, you know, blonde hair, um, you know, and for my Hispanic clients, look at that. Look at, when they, look at that, watch this, watch this. Don't tell me that's not hot. Look at that. I just like when it, when it hits the light. I just die to read with this card. I'm going to bless them, you know. Bless this deck. Um, I highly recommend it if you're a tarot reader or if you're a tarot collector. I don't collect tarot cards. It's just not my, my cup of tea. I read my tarot cards. I read for clients. And I got, what, three or four, you know, other decks. Um, but I always go back to my writer, my writer weight is just of tradition. I like it. I've always used it. I feel comfortable with it. I just got bored with it after a while. You know, it's been 26 years that I've been using that deck. I wanted something similar, but modern. Like I said, I went to the Illuminati tarot. It was just too much, too much for my eyesight. It was just overwhelming the images. I'm going to go a little bit quicker with this deck. I like it a lot. I can't wait to use it. Just amazing deck. And I highly recommend it. We'll definitely be using this deck to do my consultas, my spiritual readings. Look at that. I like that a lot. I can't keep, I can't stop saying how much I like this deck. I'm really excited about it. It's been a long time since I've been excited about a tarot deck. You know, I'm not a tarot collector. I bought tarot decks before and I just got rid of them or gave them away because it's just, I didn't, just didn't feel it. Or they just sit there and I just don't read with them. Um, I read with a Rider Waite. I read with a Golden Tarot by um, something cat. I forgot her name. I read the Voodoo Tarot. Now this one's going to be one that I will definitely be using for, look at that, for consulting. Look at that. Right here she's blonde. I think in the right of weight she has black hair. I get three of, three of swords. Love that. Look at that. I, I love that. That's, that's mad nice. A little bit different from the right of weight. When the right of weight he's sitting... I think it's more this way. Here he's facing forward. There's like a little Spanish conquistador right there. I like it. I like how it shines. I wish it was a little thicker again. But this is definitely the deck that I'll be using. It's my personal preference. What I like. What I feel comfortable with. The imagery I understand, like at the back of, you know, like the palm of my hand. Look at that. Like how the swords are in front of him. Usually it's behind him. But this one is in front of him. Look at that. Bueno, this is Sancista Luis. I hope you enjoyed, uh, I guess, my review on, what is this, the Universal, the Golden Universal Tarot. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe to my videos, please like, press the like button down there, please subscribe, leave your comments, this is Sancisto Luis, may you be blessed, goodbye, this is the Universal Tarot Deck by, you can't even get the name, You know, Golden Universal Tarot, by, I think by Les Cabo or something like that, it's published, beautiful deck, I recommend it, Sancisto Luis, have a good day. Much blessings.